Welcome back to Sidelines TV. I'm here in Wellington, Florida at the Wellington Dressage Nations Cup, and I'm here with Peter Van Borst. Peter, how are you? Good, good. Peter is the North American representative for Interagro, who are the largest Lusitano farm in the world. What brings you to Wellington? Well, I've come here to see friends and also to, to, to pick a horse up, a Lusitano horse, to take back to my farm in Aiken. Um, and to also co to communicate with people and see people here and to keep up with what's happening and smoke my cigar and drink a wine and <laughs> Good for you. see old friends. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> what is it specifically about the Lusitano? Well, you know, I've always... Uh, a good horse is a good horse. Clearly. I, I always... I grew up... I didn't grow up with Lusitanos. I, I've been close to them since, since very young. Always a good horse is a good horse. So I will never say uh, Lusitano is the best. But it has attributes in abundance. So when you look at this and you go, uh, some people are very set in their ways. So, well, only warm bloods have done dressage. Right. Okay. So that means that that's all you can ride now. <laughs> um, my, my clients which are most of my clients and my very good friends are people that have ridden for a long time and they really and they, 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 they have the ability to now say you know what I really enjoy to ride but my back hurts and my leg hurts and my this and these horses I don't want to push them um, come here come here and they sit on one of these horses and you have this horse that has a natural impulsion they suddenly and they're looking you go I don't have to use legs on this horse it's going yeah. on its own yeah, of course he's going on his own. Why wouldn't he? And he's very elastic in his back. Yeah, and and it's comfortable. Oh, what a novelty that must be. So it's almost... Which is really the whole basis of classical dressage, too. Well, yeah. We get a chance to come to the farm and show everyone. Is there anywhere that people can see online? Yeah, Interagro. Uh, Interagro. At Interagro, we have a website there, and it's a wonderful website. Uh, we have a, 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 a project now we call Destination Lusitano, where people come, instead of just coming down, getting off the plane, being picked up, coming there, looking at a horse because they want to buy one, we now have uh, cottages there. It's a fully functional place where you wake up in the morning like you're home. And you, just, and you tell, we want to drive today or we want to ride, we want to look at the mares. So you have time, but not only to look at the horses, but the culture the way the farm moves, to walk with the guys working there and the people and watch them training. It's not structured to the point where its sole purpose is to sell you a horse. It's not that. You come there to enjoy the ambiance and the culture of our farm. Mm -hmm. We share that. When we suddenly realize, why, why do people want to, why are we just going to have people, they expect to come here and be sold a horse. If you want to buy a horse, buy a horse. If you don't, enjoy yourself anyway. We don't care. Yeah, that's great. It's your choice. It's your choice. There's no pressure on that because we don't enjoy that either. So we don't do it to other people. That's great. That's it. That's that's it. So we started that, and it's 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 a, it's becoming very popular. Um, as all things that are started, people don't quite understand it. But that's what I. That's why I sit and talk with you now. And why we're here, exactly. Why we're here, we explain. I'm not trying to convince anyone to do anything. If you didn't like horses, and you d didn't care about horses, you would still walk away from that place going, wow, that was fantastic. That was fantastic, because it's a cultural experience, it's a historical experience, it's a current day competitive experience. Mm -hmm. If you like broodmares, you go through and look at five, 450 broodmares. Wow, the different that's a parties. big farm. Yeah. It, all the people with the different angles of expertise find stuff that they appreciate right instead of coming okay here's the horse uh, try him out and do you like him okay and he's That's this pretty much. much what happens here um, all the time no, now though it's a no. 20 minute decision no and and if he passes the vet and everybody sits there with their fingers crossed did he post the vet did he post yeah. the vet and, and then no he didn't oh, or he did and then you own him and sometimes you're not quite sure why you bought him mm -hmm. because the time factor you fly in to look at the thing you want to buy now how long is that going to take who wants to spend time so if you spend two days three days you're not there just looking at a horse you're there walking looking at the 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 the, the, the farm you're looking at the trees you're looking at the flowers you're looking at the whole ambiance of the place right 
and the horse just flows into the whole process. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, Peter, thank you so much for taking the time. You're very welcome. And You're until we get a chance to come, yeah, everyone no, go to the no, website we and take a look yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, look at it. It's because it's a it's a very nice website. Great. For Sidelines TV, I'm Rob Jordan.